today we're going to look at adding 10 and 100 to a number. I'm going to use Dean's to help me, then I'm going to show you by drawing pictures. I've used Dean's to make the number 325. 300 for the 300, 2 tens for the 20 and 5 ones for the 5. First, I'm going to look at adding 10 to a number. If I add 10 to this number, I only need to look at the tens column because the hundreds and ones won't change. To add 10, I need to add another tens rod. So my number now is 335. To add 100, I need another 100 square. So my number now is 435. We can also draw a picture to help us understand this. I'm going to start by drawing the number 325. To add 10, I need to draw another 10s rod, which will make my number 335. To add 100, I'm going to draw another 100 square. Which makes my number 435. We're going to look at why sometimes when you add 10 to 100 also change. My number here is 294. If I add a 10 rod to the 10 column, I, will, I would have 10 tens. We can't have 10 tens, so I need to exchange them for a 100 square and put it in the 100 column. We now have three hundreds, zero tens, and four ones. So two hundred and ninety-four add ten equals three hundred and four. I can also show this as a picture. I have drawn out the deans for the number two hundred and ninety-four. If I add ten, I need to cross out the nine tens I already have and add a hundred and a hundred square. So I now have 304. I hope you found that useful. If you did, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. I'll be uploading a video of something new every week. See you all soon. Bye!